There are now 26 new powerful books for advanced players in the 1.6 update for Stardew Valley. These books are used to give players advantages such as powers, XP and even quality of life updates like this one here which allows us to now see the value of our items. These books are not to be confused with the lost books in the library slash museum. These are completely new and advanced. In today's video, we are going to try and unlock all of these. I will show you where you can obtain them and what they actually grant you in the game. Starting off with the Animal Catalogue. You can buy this from Marnie's shop for 5,000 gold. When you purchase this and read it, this will now allow you to access Marnie's shop even when she's not around. Probably my favourite book out of all of them. So all of those times you come into Marnie's shop and she's not there and you just want to buy some food or animals. Well, it doesn't matter if she's not behind the counter guys because you can now access the shop all the time. I'm going to go through all the ones that can be purchased from shops or NPCs first. So the next one is from the Dwarf. And this book is called the Dwarvish Safety Manual. This is for 4,000 gold and when you read this, bombs now deal 25% less damage to you. So if you're one of those people who like going in the school cavern or mines, just spamming loads of bombs everywhere, but you do hurt yourself quite a lot, this is going to help with that. The next one can be found over on Ginger Island. If you come to the Volcano Dungeon, when you get to floor 5, you will see the other dwarf. If you speak to him, you can buy a book called The Diamond Hunter, but you will need 10 diamonds to do this, so make sure you do get those before you come here and this book makes all stones have a chance to drop a diamond when mined by hand so normal rocks now have a chance to drop diamonds which is amazing the next one is called monster compendium this can just be found by slaying all types of monsters in every situation and you'll eventually get one dropped from a monster i found this one already hopefully i've got a little clip to show you here but when you read this monsters have a small chance to drop double loot Another one can be found in a secret location in a gold trash can between the blacksmith and Joji Mart. This was another secret before where you could go behind this tree into this box, put something in there to get one of those statues. Well, if you go the opposite side now, where this tree is, there's a little path that you can go down. If you go right down to the edge, there should be a hardwood stump in the way. You obviously got to upgrade your tools for this. And then if you get rid of this big boulder as well, come to the end there is a gold trash can hiding behind this tree here well if you search this trash can you will get a book called the alleyway buffet so this book if you read it you'll have a greater chance to find items in the trash so if you never have really good luck in the trash cans having this book should allow you to find some good things in the trash cans if you're lucky and the next book is called Woodcutters Weekly by Chopping Down Trees. This is random. Reading this book will gain you some foraging experience points. That is literally it. That's all it does. If you have not fully maxed out your experience in foraging, and let's say you're level 8 and you need to get it up a little bit more, you can read this book to gain just instant foraging experience. Chopping Down Trees is not the only way you can get this. You can actually buy this from the bookseller for 8,000 gold also from the travel car and the merchant in the desert festival there is a book similar to this woodcutters weekly one and this is to do with the raccoons once you finish their quest line you will get a book called the raccoon journal which is the next one i will show you and this makes weeds have a greater chance to yield mixed seeds so you will get this book from the raccoons once you finished it and after that you can actually repurchase this book again from the raccoons for 999 wood but this time this will just grant you foraging xp very similar to the woodcutters one every time you read it you'll just get foraging xp to try and boost your foraging level up there is another book called the book of mysteries and you can only find this by breaking open golden mystery boxes i've only found two so far i'm gonna break these open and try my luck there is also other books you can find by breaking open golden mystery boxes but there are other ways to find those ones the book of mysteries can only be found by breaking open golden mystery boxes so you just go to the blacksmith clint and you'll process geodes as normal and we'll break these open and try our luck you can get a number of things in here such as the brand new powder melon seeds sadly for me i couldn't find the new book the book of mysteries i'll keep trying my luck to get it and make sure you guys do as well one of the best quickest and main ways to get a lot of these books is from the new traveling merchant the bookseller this is a brand new thing added to 1.6 the bookseller will come twice per season you can see them marked on the calendar with the hot air balloon and also in town you'll see a little poster here with the hot air balloon saying this way and if you go over to where 
Jojo is, or the cinema if you've finished it. If you go to the back of it, there used to be a fenced off area. This is now open and you can come up the steps here and this is a brand new travel merchant, the bookseller. The bookseller is a shop that sells these books and it will sell random assortment of books each time. You can see there's a lot of books here that you can purchase and these will change all the time as well. So for example, you can buy the Bait and Bobber. This is a book which if you read it, will gain you fishing experience. Again, if you need to work on your fishing skill, this is a book for that. You can also do the same with a farming experience. This is called Stardew Valley Almanic and this if read will grant you a good amount of farming experience. I don't need any of these because I am fully maxed out. Now one good thing is if you do find abundance of these woodcutters or fishing or farming experience books but you don't really need to read them for experience, you can trade in books which is pretty awesome. So for example, this wood one here, I don't need it, I'm maxed out. You can trade this book in for 100 wood which I think is a quite a nice a feature. But we're gonna buy a lot of the books here that I have not purchased just yet, the ones that I might need. Need. We've already found the alleyway one, but another book here is called The Way of the Wind Part 1. There's actually two of these, and there's part two, but you can only purchase that once buying number one. And this allows us to run faster. One of my favorite books so far, just being able to have a permanent speed boost is going to be amazing. Another one is called Horse, the book. If you read this, you will gain a little extra speed when riding the horse as well. So it makes horses finally faster. This is 25K. Another book we could buy from the bookseller is All Sliver Legs. If you read this, you will now run a lot faster through grass and crops, which is always an issue for me. You do move very slow through grass and I have a ton of grass around my farm and actually the valley as well. So 25K again, we're gonna read that, awesome. Another one is the Queen of Sauce Cookbook. This will learn any Queen of the Sauce recipes that you don't already know. Now I don't need this because I have perfected this uh, save file. I've got all the cooking recipes. And then the another one is the Price Catalog. I've already purchased this. But this, like I mentioned at the start, will allow you to see the value of the items. 3,000 gold, not too bad at all. But also, I do want to go to the Squid Fest because that is where we can find our next book. So the Squid Fest is on the beach during winter. And here you will see the booth, the sign, there's even a Squid Chef. So the explanation here, it's a Squid Fishing Challenge. If you can hit our daily catch targets, you win prizes. Check the sign to the left, we also put special bait in the water so the squid are active all day. Now one of the best ways to do this is actually use the new bait machine, put squid in there to get a squid bait and then you will most likely get a squid a lot faster. But this is a two day festival so just spend all day trying to catch as much squid as you can. You need to catch eight squid in total to get the best reward which I believe is the book. But the counter, we've got seven so far, we just need one more but the counter will disappear if you come tomorrow. Ooh, a golden treasure chest. This is the new ones in the game. And I think you can find books in them. Let me have a look. What have we got? Oh, a mystery box. I will take that. We need to break those open to try and find the mystery book, the book of mysteries. And there we go. That is our eighth squid. We should now get the max reward, which is the art of crabbing. The next book on the list Reading this will give you a 25% chance to yield double items from the crab pots. Awesome. We also got some furniture, the Squid Kid. Love that. Now, if you come and do this again tomorrow on the second day, which is the 13th of winter, the rewards will be different. And they're actually, in my opinion, better. Some new books that the bookseller is selling on the second day of winter, or the second part, is the Mining Monthly. This is the same as the Farming, Fishing, etc. You'll get a boost in your mining experience if you are still needing to get that up. I don't need that one. There is also the Dwarvish Safety Manual, but you can buy this from the Dwarf like we did. Now, before I move on to the bookseller and check what else is in stock, some new ones, there's actually another one you can find, which is hidden behind the Adventurers Guild. All you gotta do is go into the back room in the door, it now opens, you can come in here and there is a box. Click on this and you'll have a book called the Mapping Cave Systems. If you read this, you will get a 50% discount on Marlon's item in the retrieval service. So if you do die in the mines, the item recovery service, which is this here, will be a lot cheaper. It doesn't cost you as much to buy it back. Behind the hot air balloon and the bookseller, there is a prize ticket. Now, I mentioned the prize tickets because in the May Lewis's house, there is a special prize machine. You can exchange tickets for prizes. Now, there is a few books in there that you can exchange these tickets with. 
This is the prize machine here. You put a ticket in and you'll see what you get. The first one is the carrot seeds and this will move along uh, until eventually you get them all and there is some books on there as well. But there is no special book from the prize machine because all of them can be purchased from the bookseller. Just gotta keep trying your luck. The best way to get more prize tickets is by completing repetitive festivals. So if you keep winning the egg festival, the fishing one, from now on you'll start getting these prize tickets for winning. Also by accepting Help Wanted and the special billboard quest, you will get the prize tickets. So here we have some more new books, The Book of Stars. Reading this will gain more experience in all skills. The raccoons will actually give you this as well by completing their fourth quest. So learning this book, you get a boost of XP in every single one, which is awesome. The Art of Crabbing that we actually got from the Squid Fest is also available to buy for 20,000. And because we've learned the Way of the Wind part one, which makes us run faster, we also now have a part two, which runs a little more faster. This is 35,000 for part two. So the book I've really been trying my best to find by chopping down trees is called Woody's Secret. You can actually buy this if you don't manage to find it. And reading this book will give you a 5% chance to yield double the wood from trees. I cannot find it for the life of me by chopping down trees, so I'm so glad I can actually read this and buy it from the bookseller. But there we go, we'll get more wood from trees. Another new book is called Jewels of the Sea. This can also be purchased from the bookseller for 20,000 gold. You also can find this as a reward from treasure while fishing if you are lucky in the treasure chests. But reading this makes fishing treasure chests have a chance to yield row. Very, very interesting. Another new book you can get from the bookseller for 20,000 gold is Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick. Reading this will gain you a permanent plus one defense. We nearly have them all. And I'm hoping to find the next one right now by breaking open Artifact Troves. If you go to Clint, process Artifact Troves, there's a chance to find a new book. Hopefully we can get it today. And there we go, we managed to find it. Only 15. And this book is called Treasure Appraisal Guide. Reading this will fetch a better price when selling artifacts, which is perfect for me because I'm just about to sell a lot from all of these Artifact Troves. Wow, artifacts now sell for a lot more money. Let's go. And the next new book is called Friendship 101. You can purchase this for 20,000 gold from the bookseller, but you can also get this as a prize from the prize machine in Lewis's house if you keep trading in the tickets. But reading this will make you become friends with people a little faster. A good book to gain hearts. Took me a long time to find this from the bookseller. Hopefully your bookseller is a lot nicer than mine. But that is all of the books bar one, which is the book of mysteries like I mentioned before. You can only find this by breaking open golden mystery boxes and I am yet to find this. It's the last one I need. Once you've found all of the books and read them, you will get an achievement which is new to 1.6. But that is all of the brand new powerful books for advanced players in Stardew Valley. They gain you so much different things from XP and quality of life and new powers. This bookseller and the books are an amazing addition to Stardew Valley. I have told you all of the locations. I'm sorry if I've missed a few here and there. This has took me a long time to get ha my hands on all of these books and I'm still missing one as well. But if you enjoyed it, please smash the like button, subscribe to see more 1.6 content, get purchasing these books and have a better time in Stardew Valley. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay cozy.